What's up, y'all? This is your man, Bobby Wash, producer, singer, songwriter, and filmmaker. This is my Bobby Wash and Blog channel. This video, I'm going to show you guys how to explode, or should I say export or separate um, the tracks, the MIDI tracks that's inside the impact um, to its separate tracks. Because right now, all the drums, kick, snare, hi-hats, and whatnot, uh, percussion, I have it all on this red track. Everything's on one track. So when I want to mix it, it's going to be hard because they're not separated. So in order to do that, you have to come down here. Make sure that instrument down here is highlighted, is open. Go to the impact instrument, press the, hit the arrow. You're going to press expand. Now, look at the uh, track here. When I when I put a check mark on each one of these, each one of these here is going to open up a different uh, track next to it. See? One, two, three, four. See how many I got? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got 12 instruments, so I need 12. We're going to open up 12 of them, right? All 12. And then you can name what they are, but you got to assign it. Let's assign it. So, all right, so here we go. To assign it, you see the number one right here? All right, to assign it, all we have to do is go here to the right corner. Just click it, and you want to assign it. You want to assign... Um, Input one to impact one, um, not stereo. Let's put it to number two. So it'll come out here. Let's, uh, so let's solo this. All right, let's take away the other music. See, now it's coming out right here. All right, and the instrument itself, I left it alone. All right, I left that alone. Well, I could have just kept it at one. Yeah, why not? I'll keep it at one. They're all at one. So I'll keep I'll keep that at one, and I'll call it. Um, I'll call it. Uh, actually, I wanna. Yeah, I'll call it claps. Call it claps for number one. I just wanna forget that it's a that the instrument is there, but I guess I'll be fine. Um, let's see here. So that's number one. Number two. We're gonna assign number two, which is the snap here. Um, so we'll take this off. All right, so that's gonna be snaps and so forth. So once you once you do that and you assign it, um, then you'll simply. I'm gonna just do these two so far, for the video time sake. You wanna right right click. You're gonna come down to instrument parts. Then you want to go to exploit, explode pitches to tracks. When I do that, the snare and the and the snap is going to come to two separate tracks. Well, actually, they all did. They all came to different tracks, right there. But um, they're not assigned. You know, they're going to be all come out of one until I assign them. So everything has been separated. All these tracks have been separated. If I um see, but you have the snaps coming out and the and the you know by itself. The clap is coming out with the other instruments, but we're going to assign them. As a matter of fact, let's assign them. Let's assign them while it's running. How about that? Let's put a loop on. Let's put a loop on. We're going to assign them while it's running. That way you guys can see them going to different tracks in real time. How about that? All right, so yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and just assign them. That's two. We're going to make this three. That's a snare basic, right? We'll name it snare. Then we'll put this kick at four. And we'll call this one LA kick. Alright. Then we'll go to number five. Touch the one. And you want to hit that uh hit that five. kick number five so really you can just put the numbers here six seven what I like about it is when you update it when, when you update the name here it updates it in there as well so if I down here put this uh, as filling kick 
when I go back inside the filling kit here, you're gonna see that it, it changed the name to filling kit right there. So that's kind of awesome. All right. We got a, a hi hat. That's one number six. It's a hat. So I'll put hat, hat one. And then we have, oh, okay, we have a open. Or a, I'm sorry, crash. So we'll call this crash. Crash. All right. Then we have A. Put the A in there. Right. And then we have. Can you stop it? Okay, that's a hi hat as well. So we'll put that to number nine. Hat number nine. That's gonna be hat number two. Then we got shaker. Put shaker at number ten. Bottom here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh. Now you're not hearing my sound correctly for, as far as my music, cause the sound is coming back out through my my uh, iMac microphone. I don't have the internal stuff built, so you can hear it like for real. So don't worry about that. Just give me you the idea how to how to use it. All right, it's gonna be another snare. It's a hard hitting snare. So we'll call it uh hard snare. All right, and I'm almost done. I got uh, one more or two more. Okay, I call that I call it like a funk snare. Funk snare. And I'm gonna assign that to number twelve. Yep, funk snare. Yep, came out. The last one I got is gonna be number thirteen, and that's the last kick. All right. All right, that's kick three. All right. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. Now they're all coming out their own. Ooh, hitting hard too. I like the color. I like to color my drums a different color so they can stand out. I don't like the black. The black don't stand out. Let's make it. Let's make them a different color here. I say, let's make them all. Make them all green. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Um. It's pretty much how you do it, how you explode the track, and it will work the same way if you had like a contact instrument and you want to separate the tracks, you'll highlight it, open the tracks, and do the same thing and explode the track uh, pretty much the same way. Okay? Hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and click the notification bell.